Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode here on the Mindful Server. Today we are heading over to the Enderman farm to uh, fix up a little bit of the project that we kind of finished, not really. <laughs> we got a little bit of work to do still. And we need to add some more carpets because I've noticed some Endermen have actually been spawning elsewhere. So let's head on over. All right. And you know what? This path here is also kind of sketchy. We might uh, want to work on this area a little bit today. I've been a little bit unsure as to what to do lately on the server. And that's primarily because I have not set projects for myself. I mean, I've got that mob farm that I was working on and it works really nicely. Uh, but it's not like the most entertaining thing to do uh, in the end. And I hope in the next episode or two to actually, you know, get working on that a little bit more. And another thing too is I actually installed the 1.14 textures, uh, or got a resource pack for 1.13 to do that. Uh, and it's looking quite nice. Unfortunately, the connected glass isn't supported yet by Optifine. Now, I'm hoping... Uh, let's have a look here. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted to see. No Enderman spawning. So, you know what? I want to make this area a little bit safer. I know we've got some dirt here, and it doesn't look the greatest. Uh, so, if we just replace the dirt um, here with Endstone, I'm sure it'll look a little more natural. Uh, and you can see even where the previous path was. Look at that, that's kind of sketchy. Uh, I am really not looking to die here today. So, oh, look at that. There's actually a ladder. I didn't even realize that. This was way before my time here on the server. Wow. I'm sure players won't mind if I get rid of these leaf paths, seeing as though it's not in use at the moment. Just trying to clean things up a little bit today. Now this is really sketchy. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get rid of this necessarily. Actually, you know what? Let's place a water chute down and we'll, we'll go down the water. Ah, gotta go up top. There, like that, and then we'll get rid of this. The thing with the end is I find that players seem to always neglect it, and I've been guilty of this too. It's sort of like you come here for one purpose, and you don't spend a lot of time here ever, really. Uh, you're here for the Enderman farm, you're here to collect endstone, you're getting shulker shells. It's not really a place that you spend time in necessarily. And so I find that, you know, almost all the servers that I have played on kind of just leave the end off to the side. It's not like, 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 if you take, for example, this staircase, I can probably, I probably bet that this staircase was placed in at the beginning of the server as soon as players entered the end. They dug up and then maybe somebody came by here and refined it or something. But it's been like this the entire time. And it, players just seem to, and I mean, I'm guilty of this too, I'm not blaming anyone, but just kind of accept that this is the way it is, you know, not really fix it as they climb up here. Uh, I mean, they're bonking their head on there. And I mean, these end gateways too, like a path would be nice to have all the way around a giant uh, circle, but I don't know that's that kind of stuff just never seems to happen really So that's kind of what I want to try to do in today's episode is work on those sort of mini projects Maybe develop the end a little bit more get players, you know wanting to spend a little more time in here um, If they've got you know the infrastructure to do it hopefully if that makes any sense. Now my goal here is to make this look a little bit more natural, and I've noticed that players, 
if you okay let's take a quick flytra flytra wow uh elytra fly around the end here you'll notice how players just shave off layers of the end stone and you know once again not blaming anyone i would be doing the exact same thing if i needed end stone but maybe we can fix this up a little bit and, and find a solution to why this kind of stuff is happening as it doesn't really make the end look all that friendly kind of just looks like it's a, a dimension that you're only here for a single purpose and you don't really want to be here um we can build up something like this uh let's go over here and have a look we can put some stairs or something up to a end gateway and say end stone collection here and then it'll give players an uh an actual place to go and pick up that end stone because i know this kind of path and stuff i mean it's really sketchy and i'm certainly not comfortable running around like, I mean, it's like a one block thick into the void. I mean, I'm sure there's water, but like, I don't know. That just freaks the heck out of me. I guess what I'm getting at is just make the end look good. <laughs> I, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say. Like, I understand why players do this, but uh, I'm sure we can be better. You know what, come to think of it, if players are removing the end island like this, maybe that's a sign that there is a need for endstone in the server, and it could be an interesting business opportunity to create a end shop wherein we sell end rods and endstone, uh, maybe purper even. Uh, I know I've never really kind of, I've never actually dabbled in that kind of stuff. I, I've never been a huge purple guy. Like, I've never really enjoyed this color of purple. Uh, but I can see why it appeals to people. And if there is a need for it in the server, then I see no reason why we shouldn't be taking full advantage of it and uh, making a, a business out of it. And you know what? This looks... This is starting to come together. This is like... This is kind of what I had in mind, like just making it look a little bit more natural. If we're going to remove parts of the end, we may as well make it look good. There we go. I put these platforms down here for players in case that they, for whatever reason, uh, walk off the edge here. They'll still be able to catch themselves a little bit. And it's not to say that people are like dumb or anything, but, you know, I've done it. I've been clumsy. I've walked off the edges of areas like this and it really sucks if you don't have your elytra on to try to save yourself there it can be pretty devastating all right you have no idea how much this frustrates me how it's off center oh my goodness the entire thing is off by like two blocks well i mean i'm gonna have to live with it you know what, maybe stairs just don't really fit. I I mean, the end is a very mysterious, like, ominous dimension, and just having, you know, wood stairs, like, something, something familiar in the end just seems wrong to have. I don't know, because it's, it's like, it's such an unknown area that Having, like, stone and cobblestone, seeing it here, re always reminds me that, you know, it was never, it was always sort of temporary, the idea. Like, this just feels temporary to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But having, like, purple and purple and stuff, like, that makes sense. It just goes with the theme of the end. I'm not too sure if having a staircase here is necessarily what this place needs. Uh, and the fact that it's still off-center really does uh, uh, frustrate me. Uh, but you know what it does need? It needs a giant ring around the end, which I uh, just finished. It's been two or three days I've been working on this. Uh, I honestly didn't really feel like recording it because I didn't feel like there was going to be much to show for it. Uh, but it's all Enderman proof and players can throw their Ender Pearls through this now. Uh, much easier than they could before with a building 
up uh, and i got rid of that platform there and as players fight the ender dragon more and more uh the more of them will spawn i think it goes up to 21 in total and so uh this whole area hopefully will have a bunch of uh these end gateways populating it eventually um but we need to come up with a way of how players are going to get up here and since I didn't do that. Let's go down here and take a look at what we got. I uh, just got rid of the scaffolding. Um, so maybe what we can do, uh, seeing as this is offside, we can put uh, maybe a doorway that the player that people walk through here, uh, or even just like a funnel of water going up and a funnel of water uh, going down well actually if we do a funnel of water going up uh, and then just a water pad right here or even a sponge or something uh, not a sponge sorry a hay bale that could work um, another option here is instead of doing that we have a staircase sort of on each four areas which connect us to the end island uh, I maybe not I don't like that idea 100% uh, just because some of the areas, for example, in the back there, there is a massive uh, distance between that ring and the end island, which would require us to build them another platform and go through all these. Yeah, you see how much, how difficult this would be, especially so maybe maybe that's not a good idea. So here's my super complex solution to a very simple problem. Uh, what I've got here is players will walk into this sort of chamber and then they'll go up. So let's just take an example here. Whee, like that. So basically these dispensers are dispensing water buckets which uh, fill the bubble column and then the players just go flying all the way up. And I've got this whole redstone circuit down here uh, where it essentially just takes the pulse and feeds it through and powers the dispenser uh, like so and you can stack redstone like this with half slabs and redstone dust which is what i'm doing here and then i've got a reset clock which runs uh, and does the exact same thing just powers the dispensers and turns off the bubble column and you may be thinking to yourself well why don't you just you know have a bubble column already there um that's a good question and one I didn't really want to do. I don't know. I don't really like the look of the bubble column. It makes noises and everything. And if players are here, I, I mean, they're only here for like a couple seconds. I realize that. But I don't know. This is something more fun. And I was trying to think of something to put on the roof here rather than these two ugly looking signs. Um, so if you have a suggestion. I mean, I tried a trap door. But that doesn't seem to work. Uh, hello, Mr. Enderman. Uh, the trapdoor, the, this iron pressure plate, uh, tends to trigger it, and the players just get locked out. So I could place it off to the side, but it's kind of obstructive. Uh, I don't know, if you have a suggestion for something that I could use in that situation, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I can't really think of anything at the moment, so uh, we're going to leave it with the sign. But let's go ahead and fill up this bubble column, or this uh, adjustable bubble column as you might want to call it and I don't have any ice on me unfortunately so we are gonna have to do this all by hand Ugh, yikes wait a minute this is right underneath the end gateway all right, let's test this thing out, see how it works. Whee, that's awesome. And then the bubbles disappear. So if players want, uh, they could technically go back down this direction. So from here, we'll have the players uh, go up and it's gonna have to get rid of some of these torches. Let's just do like straightforward uh, block like this.
All right, there we have it. It's not looking the most splendid, but um, you know what? This is sort of an ongoing project I think I'm going to take on to sort of make the net, the end, sorry, uh, look a little bit nicer. And let's just take a look at how it functions and what it looks like 100% now. Whee! And then you come up here and you got your stair. You can go walk around to whatever area you want to go to. Uh, so it it's probably not the most efficient, and I don't know how this Enderman spawned here. Actually, you know what? No, 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 they can teleport to half slabs, that's right. Um, I mean, if players want to get to the other side, obviously they're going to have to run there, but if you really think about it, too, they can just take their elytra, and I bet you most players probably will. Um, it's probably just going to be the fastest. All right, well, that's all we have for today's episode. I just wanted to thank you guys so much for tuning in. And uh, my skin, uh, let's have a look here. What is my skin? Uh, you probably see better in this menu anyway. Look at that. Who is that? If you can guess who that is in the comments below, I will uh, feature your comment in the next episode. Guess who that is. All right, anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll catch you all in the next one. Have a great day.